The award-winning Kauri Museum tells the stories of the pioneering settlers through the theme of the mighty Kauri tree, the second largest tree in the world, famous for its beautiful timber and fascinating gum. Throughout the many galleries there, you'll experience the largest collection of Kauri gum on display in the world, a magnificent collection of Kauri colonial antique furniture, huge Kauri logs and equipment for transporting, milling timber and collecting Kauri gum. There's restored machinery, including a 1929 Cat-60 tractor and turning steam sawmill. A two-storied replica boarding house demonstrates the importance of a place to stay and carry out business whilst travelling by boat or on horseback. There's a beautiful 22.5 metre Kauri slab, a fantastic museum shop with the best selection of Kauri products in New Zealand. Located just 90 minutes north of Auckland en route to the ancient Kauri trees of the Waipoa Forest, ensure a stop at Matakohi and experience real New Zealand heritage at its very best, an outstanding attraction and a must-see whilst in Northland.
lot of it. You mind if we come in how long you're there? I was convinced you'd bought it, Barbara. <laughs>
I'm sorry away. Have you all done? Have you all finished? The two thousand pounds. Thank you, sir.
making a lot of progress here. The artisans of a culture are the ones that really define the culture for history. But this tail could be a... We got the raw material out of a local mill. They milled them up specially for this project, but they're all rough timbered, kiln dried, but rough. The panel final dimension is four feet, 10 inches wide by basically 10 feet long. So that's what we're looking to create out of each one of these individual panels. What I'm trying to depict is the Mayan creation sense of the world, where they came from. believe that the world was divided into three zones, the upper world, the middle world, and the lower world, and they called it just that. They were all equal. They did not fear death and the underworld. In fact, they embraced it. The number five, this panel, final apocalypse now, end times where the feathered serpent swallows the rest of the world. The important thing here to note is that this is art. We're creating it as we go. There is no blueprint we're following. We are watching what we do and seeing what we do and deciding at that point whether it's good or bad and which direction to move with the piece. power of art we're experiencing. Yeah. Here a little idea, a seed was set out, set loose into the world, we generated it and birthed it together, right. and then I had to manifest that the reality. It was a fun time to step back, and all of a sudden things were taking shape that I didn't ever expect to happen. Yeah! Finish! <laughs> Woohoo! Dance 